Hello everyone, um, today I'm just going to give you an update on the Sequential Circuits Profit 5 power supply modifications I've been working on. Um, as you can see I've got it now mounted and uh, mounted it actually flat rather than standing up and now it doesn't move. I don't have to worry about any movement in it. And then uh, what I've also done is I had flying leads out here to a little expansion board I built and I installed transient voltage suppressing diodes which um, are referenced actually to the ground and on one end and what they do is if one of these regulators ever go out of regulation these guys here will clamp down the ground protecting all your circuit boards it'll actually it'll might damage your regulator worse but if it's already putting out too much and you know it's already bad um, but basically it just protects all your circuits from getting too much voltage and uh, so did that and then also I mounted a the regulator is a little different, as you can see. On my last video, as I mentioned, I drilled out the, I actually cut the chassis out and added a block of aluminum. And uh, I did this really for really three reasons. I mentioned two on the other video, but the third reason is actually it uh, it actually works. It adds more capacitance to the heat, and it actually allows more heat to escape. And uh, so it seems to be working really well. This thing's been on now for a little while, and it's I can still touch it and that's that's a good sign and uh, so anyways guys that's kinda what I did um, I had also added uh, some actual sockets so if these regulators ever do go bad you just have to unplug it and replace it rather than having to desolder and all that kinda stuff so it just kinda cleaned it up quite a bit um, the only other problem is I found out that I've got right now is that this little cap here sticks out too high and uh, it actually makes contact with the uh, connector when I slide the chassis together. So I'm going to take him out and change him up a little bit. But um, besides that, guys, it's working great. I mean, it's, it's running a lot cooler. And uh, I mean, it still gets a little warm, but not quite like it did originally. And uh, so it seems to be working really well. And as you can hear, this Prophet 5 actually still works. And like I said, this was Alex Kaufman's Profit 5 that I ended up actually buying from him because we were just so uncertain what all had got damaged. And since he's an electronics technician, you know, I kind of felt bad, you know, letting him have it back and not really knowing what all happened to it. So now since I own it, if something goes wrong, it's not a big deal. I'll just open it up and fix it. But uh, what we've got, as you can hear... and everything still seems to be functioning except for the memory. The memory is absolutely gone bonkers. Um, what what I believe happened is I'm going to look into it but I think it's got a bad NAND gate. Um, you got some NAND gates that actually drive um, some of your logic stuff and I think it might be might be messed up or it could actually be the uh, clock for that circuit because actually his cassette memory doesn't work either as you can see it's dead but if I change a preset, everything still changes here, which is a good sign. But if I change everything, you can see everything just kind of lights up. And it won't accept any memory input because I've already tried to save presets because I thought maybe it got swapped. And it will not save any presets. So it lets me know something's definitely not right with the uh, memory chips. And something's just not working there at all. But uh, anyways, guys, since, since this is mine, I'll definitely have more updates on what I find out. But uh, what happened is, I, I forgot to, I need to back up a little bit here. What actually happened to this unit is that this supply was a horrible design originally. And I mentioned all this on my first part of the series of these videos. But uh, this power supply was just really horrible because it didn't really mount. It relied on these capacitors to hold it in place. And since you actually got to keep these regulators isolated from ground, as you can see I've got these brown colored material between the regulators and heat sink and then there's isolation bushing between the screws. These things cannot make contact with the chassis or else they short out. And uh, that's exactly what happened when I shipped this one to Alex the first time I had redone it, is that, that re this power supply shifted in, in vibration from shipping and uh, he shorted the ground and then he, when he powered him up it was shorted. So that was bad. But then what happened is he actually moved this thing and it came off ground <laughs> And then it just, this guy was damaged. So he let all that voltage, uh, unregulated voltage, go through all of his boards. 
on the 5.6 volt line. And that's what did all the damage to this particular synth. So now, you know, it's going to be, you know, quite a bit of work to get this thing going. And then I'm going to see how reliable it is because I don't know what all happened when that, when that 5.6 volts got on places it shouldn't have. I mean, that 15 volts got on places it shouldn't have where the 5.6 volt was the limit. So, you know, this thing might have some other failures later down the road simply because of that problem. So now I don't have to worry about it though. It's all mounted, it's not going to move, and the regulators are mounted with, uh, like I said, with sockets and everything. So if it does go bad, just simply replace and and uh, and go on. But um, anyways guys, I'll just give you a quick overlook here once again of the power supply. And so far there seems to be a good modification, so if anybody's looking at doing this to their Profit 5, I, I highly recommend it. It's definitely going to help the life of your, of your Profit 5. And uh, you know, it, was, it took a lot of mods. You had to be, be pretty good with the drill and, and you had to be confident enough to, to cut the chassis, which was not really fun. I didn't really I don't ever like cutting something original, but in this case, I've made it a lot better. And uh, adding that extra piece of aluminum, like I said, is really helping the heat. It's, uh, it's really helped this thing out a lot. But um, anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll, I'm sure I'll have more updates as I find out what's all wrong with this synth. But uh, take care.